Just like many people suffering from chronic low back pain, James initially decides to visit his primary care provider for help. His pain is negatively affecting his personal and professional life, as well as overall well-being. James has already tried the typical conservative treatments his physician prescribed to relieve his pain, but has only received limited and temporary pain relief. He's interested in addressing the underlying cause of his pain, not just cover the symptoms, and seeks help from a specialist. James arrives at his appointment hoping to find a solution for his chronic lower back pain. The specialist reviews James's back pain and treatment history in detail. He asks James questions about his daily tasks to assess how his back is currently functioning performing these everyday activities. James explains how his pain presents itself in his everyday life, such as instability and pain during cooking or brushing teeth, the need to support himself with his arms, or maintaining a simple posture without increasing pain. The specialist asks James to touch his toes and come back to a standing position. James can go down without issue. However, as he returns to a standing position, he needs to use his arms to assist and moves awkwardly to try and prevent pain. This is an indication of a neuromuscular control problem. James performs two more physical assessments, the prone instability test and multifidus lift test, which further confirm the specialist suspicion of multifidus dysfunction. James's MRI is reviewed, showing no meaningful clinical indication for a spinal surgery or neural anatomy decompression. However, the MRI shows fatty infiltration in the multifidus muscle, a clear sign of atrophy or disuse, and a final confirmation of this pathology. Since James is not a candidate for a spinal fusion, the specialist reviews current palliative treatment options commonly performed to treat this often misdiagnosed condition. The specialist also explains that James is not a candidate for a spinal cord stimulator because his symptoms are indicative of mechanical back pain caused by multifidus dysfunction. The specialist explains that James may be a candidate for a novel restorative neurostimulation therapy called Reactivate, which may help improve and restore James's natural neuromuscular control, allowing his body to improve spinal stability and function ultimately reducing his pain over time. This reversible, minimally invasive procedure has been clinically proven to help patients restore their function and reduce pain. James decides to schedule a date for his procedure and takes the first step in his reactivate journey.